Yo guys, Ty here with Remote Calculus and welcome back to our channel where we share with you the hottest statue unbox and review. And today, we are going to take a look at the first statue from Iron Kite Studio, the one for scale Gara from the Naruto anime. So if you are new here, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out our new content like this. So, let's do the unbox now. Here is the one for scale Gara statue from Iron Kite Studio and this is also their first product that released. This is also a follow-up video of the one for scale Naruto that we reviewed not long ago. I will put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. So let's quickly go through to the spec. This is of course one for scale. The length is 50.2 cm and the width is 40.2 cm and the height is 53.6 cm and as for the weight is approximately 18 kg and this statue is also limited to 800 pieces worldwide and come with a poster with an installation guide at the back okay let's talk about the design of this statue the main concept design of this statue is taken from a scene during the tuning exam where Gara's team encounter with the rain village ninja and the poor guy that named Shigure uses his Joro Senbun Jutsu or also known as Raining Needles to attack Gara. But Gara is able to easily block those attacks by his shield of sand which is how the statue design looks like. Okay, let's take a closer look at the base. First, you got this sand base with some of the sand dripping off and touches the black rounded plate base. The base also includes not only one but three exchangeable nameplate. You have the Gara word written in Japanese and another one is Gara in English and lastly, which I think is the most ugly among the rest, the Naruto Shibuden nameplate. And moving up, we have these multiple pieces of sand shoe. The sand shoe that protected Gara looks fantastic. You can see there are some veiny lines all over at the sand shoe and it looks similar to the veiny lines that we've seen on Shukaku body. And I personally feel that the painting on the sand shield is a little bit too smooth. It looks a little bit wet and muddy and I personally prefer it to be more rough, something more like a sandpaper feel. The needles come with three different lengths, short, medium and long. They are all made of PVC and not so easy to break if you accidentally drop it which we encounter multiple times during the installation. Installing those needles on the sand shield is a real pain in the ass. If you don't believe me, try it and let me know. Overall, I love the scalp and the presentation of the sand shield with needles on it. It looks creepy with the needles, but I think it matches well with the evil Gara characteristic at the early stage of Naruto. 
Now let's take a look at the Gara himself starting off with his garment. You can see they added the realistic texturing details on his pants and his outfit as well. I'm glad that the texturing details on his outfit blend in nicely and not overly done. I think this is a good blend of realism to the anime character. His white leather band have a nice leathery texture and you can see the sand village forehead protector wrap at the leather's band. Gara Sand God is massive and we can see a little bit of cracks lying on it. The Sand God are nicely detailed and I like the paint application on it. However, if you are putting up all the sand shield, the view of the Sand God will be blocking by those pieces of sand shield. The head scout and lightness of Gara is simply awesome. It has this menacing, evil looking face with his cold stare. The expression is just perfect. His spiky red hair are nicely sculpted and if you take a closer look at his forehead tattoo, the eye word, this word is actually a sculpted word and manually painted on it instead of a decal sticker which look more realistic. Alright, that's Gara quarter scale from Iron Kai. So my take for this Gara is the overall presentation and design is pretty amazing. And it captured the evil looking Gara during the beginning of Naruto very well. There are currently four licensed Gara that released in the market. The one and only quarter scale Gara from Iron Kite, the one six scale Real Studio Gara, and two from Sumi. The first Gara from Sumi was released many many years ago and another Gara is just released recently. I also happen to have owned this Gara that released recently. So let us know in the comment if you want to see an unbox for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we will be unboxing Orochimaru and Deidara as soon as we get it. So check out the other relevant content. I will see you again in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna go